in order to save a little bit of time, I've took everything out of the boxes because I received two boxes plus one package. And I'll go through that in a second. Yeah, so just to save a little bit of time, I've removed everything, I've gone through everything, I've made sure I've got some sort of understanding just so that I can tell you exactly what you're getting for your money. And also we're gonna talk about why you want one of these and also, or two of these actually, or, or even more. And also we are gonna do a little field test. We're gonna go out and about to see how far we can go before I start losing the signal. All right, so uh, with that, let's get on with it, shall we? Right, first thing first, let's go through some of the products. I've already connected the actual belt clips on the back, which you should have just seen just a second ago, and I've gave her a charge, just to make sure she's fully charged. So it comes with a belt clip, comes with, this is per box, okay? So in each box, it comes with a belt clip, the actual walkie-talkie, a USB three pin jack plug connection with a USB to two USB type C connections for charging it up. Now there's two different ways you can charge these radios up or walkie talkies. One is you can plug in the USB actually straight into the walkie talkie. And the other way is you can put it on the charger and plug the charger in. Yeah, makes sense. It's ideal if you've got spare batteries, yeah. Now to make these connect, all you need to do is slide that in there. And I'm guessing, and I could be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure there's a little push button there to remove the battery. Let's see if she works. If she does. Now then, should you have more than one battery, you can just go like that. Change over batteries, and while you're using that one, that one's charging up. Perfect. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense, doesn't it? Put that one back. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So USB, it comes with an earpiece and this is a USB earpiece and I will show you how to connect that to the actual walkie talkie as well. And it comes with instructions, comes with an ear clip and I'm gonna go through that with you as well and that's quite easy to do and put it on your ear. And comes with a, an alternative option, which I'm not sure if I would use that one, but it does. And instructions, of course, and it's in six different languages. Now then, you can, you can reprogram these, and I'm not gonna be doing a tutorial on how to reprogram, but you will need this cable here. Let me quickly give it out, show you. Okay. Now, from what I understand, you need to plug that into a computer or something, one end, and this, this, as far as I understand, will go in there like that. Make sure it's turned off. I believe that's how you do it. But like I said, I am not gonna actually do the programming bit, but I wanted to show you, if you wanna do your own programming, you can. There is quite a bit to read on the instructions, but I will give you the basics so you've got a good idea. So we have, on the side, which is the one I was just showing you just a second ago, we have a USB Type-C connection. 
I believe that might be a microphone connection, that one there. It looks like a 3.5 jack plug connection and that one looks like a two and a half millimeter jack plug connection for a headset. Well, it is an headset because it's got a headset set there. Spill it out, Yorkie. On the top, we have a torch. We have a indicator showing you when you're talking and when you're not talking. We have a on off button with one with volume adjustment and it tells you what channel you're on, an aerial. On the other side, we have that your press button for talking. I think it's called PTT or something like that. And then we have two buttons for channel up and channel down, but they also do other things. I will show you in a second. So channel up. Two, three. Channel down. Two, one. Hopefully it's obvious, but you have to have them on the same channel, otherwise it won't work. And it's up to, I believe it's 16 channels. Let's just go down. 16. 16 channels. One. Like I said. Now, to get the torch on, you need to press the bottom button there. Hold it in for two seconds. Voila. Easy, yeah. Very easy. Same, turn it off. Same again. And she's off. Two seconds. I'm not sure what the other button does for up but it does bleep and it's flashing I believe that's changing the modes but we're coming out of there I think two three yeah I'm out two I'm out. one alright I'm out now, I'm going to try it while we're standing or sitting here, not standing. One. Just to give you a quick demonstration. Let's have a go. You might get a bit of feedback, but we're going to try it anyway. Hello, testing, test. Oh, you're not working. Oh, hang on. That's on. Hang on. Make sure you're on the right channel. Oh, why is that one working? Oh, hang on. We're there, okay. So I did it set up wrong. Right, let's have a quick go. Testing, testing. Oh, see, she works. Hello, hello. Bit of feedback, like I said, turn down a bit. Testing, testing. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, one more thing. Mic, there's the mic. Cause you're wondering. Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? That's yeah, nice and clear, isn't it? Yeah. You can actually feel it vibrating as well a little bit. Yeah, very good. So, so uh, yeah, it does work. Works extremely well, actually. Hello, hello, hello. Now, like I said, yeah, I will show you how to connect that in a second, and I will do a field, a field test. I will go out and about because we need to know how far, roughly how far we can actually go. I reckon it's probably about a mile to two miles, something like that, but we will give it a proper field test and see how good or how bad they are. Quality-wise, they do feel quite solid and don't feel like, should you drop them, like they're going to break. These come in several different packages. They come in one, so if you just need one, you can buy one. I believe it's one, pack of two, pack of five, or pack of ten. And you might, and you probably can order whatever you need, you know. So if you're a business and you like, say for instance, you want them for your warehouse workers and you need, say, a hundred, you know, you should get some sort of discount. So keep that in mind. So what would you use this for? So you, like I just said, you could use them for, in a warehouse, in a factory where it's noisy, and that'd be perfect for using these earpieces, which I will go through, like I said, or in an office, or maybe you're out camping, and you know you just want to keep an eye on your kids, and you gave them the radio because there's no telephone signal out there, but these should work, or even in a mountain somewhere, providing you're not too far away, obviously, or there's no nothing blocking the signal. Another thing to bear in mind as well. So with that, 
I've shown you around that. I'm going to quickly show you around this, but I will go through it again, I know. So we have PTT, that is for uh, talking, yeah, which I will show you in a second, plus and a minus button and an on-off button. And obviously you can take this on and off and clip it around your, your ears. Yeah. So uh, with that, let's get on with it, shall we? Right, believe it or not, it's a winter's day. I'm testing the uh, radio on the distance. I'm going to do a couple of miles, that's all, OK? I'm going to get somewhere a bit further away from the house. Let's try it now. We're about 200 yards. Hello, Mel, can you hear me? Yes, OK. Oh, nice and clear. OK, I'll get back to you in a minute. About two miles away now, just to see if she works. Hello Mel, can you hear me over? Oh. Might be getting the washing in. Can you hear me? Oh. Alright, so about two miles away now. Coming back, it's raining. Yeah, I'm definitely losing the signal now, so it's not bad though, about two miles. Yeah, you can exactly back here, yeah. Alright, see you when I get home. First things first, I wasn't expecting it to be fantastic going out and about, you know, designed for things like, you know, whether you're in a forest or something like that, or, you know, in the mountains, where there's quite a good open space. And, you know, in a warehouse, something like that, these are perfect. But it did work, and it done up to about, or just under two miles. But it depends on the amount of interference you're going to get as well. You know, you've got to bear that in mind. You know, going through buildings, there'll be interference from other devices, maybe. I don't know. But it does work. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you some of the features. I've got the earpiece in, by the way. I'm going to show you some of the features that this does and I'm going to give you a little short, short tutorial on how to connect this. It's quite easy. So I'll do that first, shall I? OK. So, yeah, I took this off. I don't know if you're supposed to have that on or off, but I took that off and put this one on because I didn't like the little, little catch thing that came with it. So it's quite easy to put on. Hopefully you can see it's all right. So that is that. And then this depending on what ear you want it on. You know, I normally go for the right ear, but if you want it on the left ear, then you do it the other way around. If you're going on the left ear, then you want it like that, and that goes in at the bottom like that. And the reason I'm showing you this, because I had a look on YouTube, and there's nothing in the manual to show you how to put it on. So I thought, oh, I'd better show someone, because someone's going to ask, how to put that on in Yogi? And there you know, that's it. It just clips on, and if you want to take it off, you just pull it off. Now, to connect it to the radio, I've already done this one, but to connect it to the radio, you have to turn this on, and there's an on-off button. It also needs charging up with a USB Type-C connection there, so you might have to charge it up, but I haven't charged these up. They're fully charged already. But, yeah, you just press that on. And if you've got it in your ear, you should be able to hear it talk or say something, you know. But, yeah, press and hold that button, the light comes on, it's flashing because it wants to connect to something. I'm going to connect it to this one. And then the way you do it is this button here, you hold it in for a couple of seconds. Or a few seconds. And I think it's done. Now, if you want to test it, if you press the PTT button on there, it should go to head headset and activate the mic. Press it once. There you go. Oh, I can hear it. And the mic's there. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? See? Let's get the other one. I shouldn't have them closed because you might get interference. Right. To turn it off, press it again. Goes off. So that's turned the mic off. So you're talking through the radio or you're talking through this into the radio, the radio is going over to that, and then that's going into there. I don't know if that's in properly or not, but it feels quite comfortable. 
It might not be right inside my ear, but I can hear everything. And you do have a volume control adjustment, plus and a minus, which I thought was good as well. But it works. Look, PTT button. And we're active. Hello? Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. So if you don't fancy going like that, you can just put one of them on. I'm quite impressed. <laughs> I'll give it's a because it's double. Turn it off. I'm quite impressed how good or how good a build this is. Not just for how solid it is, but also for all the extra features like the light. Hold that in for a couple of seconds. The bottom one, yeah. We have a light and a bleep. And there's other devices or other settings I haven't gone into because they do get very complicated. And I thought, oh, I don't really want to do all that anyway. But if you want to turn it off, hold it in for two seconds again, it goes off. Yeah, there is quite a bit to read depending on what you want out of this radio. You can even reprogram it. Low battery voltage warning, read write frequency encryption, all sorts of stuff. If, yeah, can get quite complicated and I'm not going to go into all that. But what do I think? I think for what these things cost, I'm going to turn them off now. Take this out. Uh, I'm going to turn that off. For what it costs, they do everything they claim they do. Let's turn that off as well. Oh, is that off? Come on, go off. I think it's going off. There you go. <clears throat> for what it costs, it's well worth the money. If you're looking for a walkie talkie, whether you're out in the woods or in a warehouse, something like that, or even in an office block, office blocks, <laughs> office block, and you need to be able to communicate with someone rather than using your phone because you've got no signal on your phone or you're not allowed to use your phone, this could be a good option. To me, it's well worth the money if you're looking for something like that. It should be easy whether you're, like, I'm going to repeat myself now, whether you're in an office or in a forest or in the mountains and you've got no telephone signal, this could be the baby for you. So with that, let me know in the comments what you think or whether you've even got one of these or you're thinking about buying one. Let me know in the comments. There is affiliated links in there. I do get a little bit of a kickback, but it's not a fantastic kickback. And it doesn't cost you any more money whatsoever if you buy it through my links. It's the same price as if you went straight there and bought it yourself. So with that, if you like my videos, or any of my videos actually, if you like any of my videos, consider subscribing and click on the bell to get notified. Thank you very much for watching.